unforgettable phrases, understanding, memory like a sieve. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring a particularly vivid phrase that you might have heard, having a memory like a sieve. This expression paints a colorful picture of memory and forgetfulness, and in this video, we're going to unpack its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Let's get started. When someone says they have a memory like a sieve, they're not bragging about their recall skills. Quite the opposite. A sieve is a kitchen tool with a mesh used for straining solids from liquids or for sifting flour. If you try to hold water in a sieve, it will quickly leak out. Similarly, a person with a memory like a sieve has a hard time holding on to thoughts or information. It's a playful way to admit that they forget things easily. This expression is a great example of how language uses everyday objects to describe complex human experiences. The phrase, memory like a sieve, has been in use for centuries, drawing on the commonality of sieves in household kitchens. It vividly captures the idea of memory being unable to retain information, much like a sieve fails to hold water or fine particles. Understanding when and how to use memory like a sieve can add a colorful touch to your conversations. Here are a few examples. Admitting forgetfulness. I'm sorry I forgot our meeting. I've got a memory like a sieve these days. Describing someone else. Ask John to remind you, not me. I've got a memory like a sieve. Self-deprecating humor. Me, remember your birthday? With my memory like a sieve? You'd be better off telling the dog. This phrase is perfect for informal settings where a light-hearted acknowledgement of forgetfulness can be appreciated. And there you have it. The phrase, memory like a sieve, is a fun and illustrative way to discuss forgetfulness. It shows how English speakers often use vivid imagery from everyday life to describe complex ideas or emotions. We hope this exploration helps you understand and use the phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is an adventure filled with fascinating expressions to discover. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.